What are you talking about? Red Riding Hood. Her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. This is The Wolf Among Us, the latest in Telltale Games' line of episodic love letters to the point-and-click genre. Even if they are rarely involving pointing and clicking on the Xbox 360 and PS3. In this series you play as Bigby Wolf, the sheriff of Fabletown. This is a slice of Americana inhabited by fairy tale characters. No prizes for guessing who Big B Wolf is. Telltale have based this game on the Fables comic book series and is set 20 years before issue 1. The characters in The Wolf Among Us hide their true nature in the mundane reality of America by using an enchantment called Glamour to cloak their real forms, such as Toad would be a human instead of, you know, a toad. One thing you'll notice from the off is the art style of the game, which is very reminiscent of their last series, The Walking Dead, and it fits the comic book style really well in my opinion, but Telltale seem to be able to pull off their art style really well in their games such as Tales from Monkey Island, Walking Dead, and Back to the Future. Technically, the game works just as well as the older games, even if there are a few bugbears that I have with the QTE system not being as straightforward as you'd hope. Certain sections where lines are spoken before the scene actually loads, so it's like a line is spoken on a black screen. And also some inconsistencies when it comes to frame rate, which is kind of disappointing considering this isn't Telltale's first game, but I'm willing to overlook those faults because the story to me is really good. I've only known Bigby Wolf for about an hour and 40 minutes, which is how long it took me to complete episode 1, and I really like him. But that's mostly because that's I'm me. drawn to a character who is an asshole, because I myself am an asshole. He doesn't said. have to be an asshole, but because of I'm my freedom of choice within the game, I've chosen Bigby like Wolf to be an asshole, and that's why I like him. And to be fair, how can he not be an asshole? Before the opening credits roll, he gets into a fight with his arch nemesis from Fairy Tales, the Woodsman. Hi little Red Riding Hood, how you doing? And hey, let's face it, Bigby Wolf was only trying to do his job here. Story is that Fable Town is soon to become the set of a series of grisly murders, and being the sheriff of the town, it's Bigby's job to get to the bottom of it, whether it's through regular detective work or by intimidation, and boy is intimidation fun. But where the game really shines for me is in the set pieces. Now these set pieces aren't as grand as something like Uncharted, and why would you expect it to? But there's a really good brawl near the end of episode 1, where I, I don't really care if you're the one who instigated it or not, but you're backed into a corner and you have to use pure force to fight your way out of it. And there's a really intense scene where you viscerally remove a limb from a character and it just shows you just how brutal Big B Wolf is, even if he is no longer technically a wolf in the reality of America. This is not a story for kids. Let me assure you of that. To take a trip into the world of fables and the wolf among us, your first taste is worth £3.39 on Xbox, or that's $4.99, and the season pass is £9.99 or $14.99, and quite frankly it's a steal at double the price. Anything you pay really is worth it for a game as entertaining as this. If you love The Walking Dead, if you loved Back to the Future, if you loved Tales from Monkey Island, if you loved Sam and Max Seasons 1 and 2, you will want to get this game. It's a lot more adult than you'd expect, and I'd say a lot more adult than The Walking Dead, and that was a pretty adult game. I'd recommend it highly, and don't miss out on it. I mean, it's only episode 1 right now. We have no clarification on when episode 2 through 5 are coming, but it's worth the wait. It is genuinely worth the wait. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fuck off, Buffkin. <laughs>